What's good? How are y'all? So today I'm going to be showing you guys some ways that you can paint your AirPods. And I've come up with eight different designs or ways. Um, and I actually chose one of these to paint on my AirPods. And yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do this. And it's super, super easy and simple. So I'm going to show you guys step by step. And yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is that I do not own <laughs> eight different pairs of airpods that's kind of crazy um so instead i'm going to be showing you guys on this piece of cardstock uh so the first one i'm going to show you guys is the sailboat i got this idea off of pinterest so i'm going to be taking this aquamarine blue color and basically what i'm doing is i'm using a flat brush and this will give you a really nice crisp edge so you can create a really nice angle and I'm just filling that in and creating like a little mountain towards the side. And then now I'm using a bright orange and I'm basically filling that into the bottom fourth and just crisping that edge and making it nice and clean. So now I'm taking some peach and I'm also mixing in a tiny bit of yellow um, and I'm putting another mountain in the back of the blue one. And I'm adding a little bit more yellow to that and that's gonna become the little sun in the corner in between both of them. So I'm using some really small brush sizes which actually helps give you a really nice a clean line so I highly recommend you guys have like skinny brushes but if you don't you could always just use a toothpick or something now I'm just twisting this end and making that a very fine point and I'm going to be drawing these diagonal lines um, across so it's kind of like a abstracted water so this actually took kind of a long time and I was working really slowly and trying to make the lines as clear as possible um, but one thing I realized is that this is because this is paper um, it kind of became a little bit like dry or fuzzy but if you actually choose this to do it on your airpods it's probably going to be a lot more smoother so that's one thing to take away and now I'm just taking some black and I'm doing a little semicircle and this is going to become the little sailboat. And I'm filling the blue mountain in just a little bit more and making that a little bit more opaque because just one layer of paint makes it really like a fuzzy and not really that clean looking so you kind of want it to be as clean as possible so once one layer dries add on another layer of paint and that'll make it so much more opaque and so much cleaner looking and now i'm just taking some white and adding a little triangle right on top and this is kind of the sail of the sailboat and then i'm just outlining that in black and that's the final one so now I'm going to show you guys how I do this dolphin jumping over a sea design. So I'm taking this magenta color and I'm just filling in the top half. Now I'm using some white and making it a shade lighter, so almost a pink. And I'm doing a semicircle and then another one in a lighter shade. And one more. So building that scale of uh, value. And then now I'm just taking some blue and just filling in the rest of the bottom. So now I'm going to be making the reflection. So this is a dark aqua color. So I just use some blue, a little bit of green, and a little bit of black just to make it a little darker. And then I'm going on top of that with a peach. And because the bottom layer is kind of dark, the peach may turn out a little gray, but that's okay because you can go on top of it with one more layer. So now I'm gonna be uh, fixing the background a little bit and making that magenta a little bit more bolder. And then I'm gonna be doing the dolphin. So basically I'm taking a very tiny brush and putting a little dot of black and just stretching that out in like a macaroni shape almost. And then I'm just 
dotting the little tail and then the fins and going super slowly. You don't want to even pull the brush, just push the paint around a little bit to make it a little bit more pointy. And then I'm just filling in the peach one more time and making that a little bit opaque. So next up is the cactus and what I'm doing is I'm just filling the entire thing in blue and then taking this peachy brown color and making a mountain in the back. And then I'm taking some more pinkish peach and then putting another layer of mountain. And actually I think I could have done the background a little bit lighter in blue. It might have made the color scheme a little bit nicer but I was kind of running out of paint and I kind of wanted to use it up. So now what I'm doing is I'm just taking a dark army green and then painting on these cactuses or cacti. <laughs> And then just outlining that mountain in the back in this bright green. And yep. So now it's the yellow sea. And this is super pretty. It's one of my favorite like landscapes. Um, I really like the color scheme on this. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this yellow and coloring in the top half. And then taking this navy blue. And then I'm putting in another mountain in the back. And then I'm taking the ultramarine blue, mixing that with a little bit of white. So it's kind of like this purpley periwinkle color. And then I'm making that the sea. And then I'm also lining the mountain in the back for some contrast. And then I'm taking the yellow and then just filling in the water. So actually the colors are almost inverted on this. Um, the sea is actually yellow and the sand is blue, but I thought that this looked cool, so that's what I did. And then I'm just taking the white and adding a sun in the back and then lining the water with the white and then black once again. And then fixing some of the edges on that. So next up is the purple mountain and this one what I'm doing is I'm taking a almost magenta purple color and then I'm making a mountain in the back with a sharp point and then I'm going a little bit darker so adding some more black to that and making the sky super dark and purple. Taking some blue you want to make it uh, almost halfway but not really and fill that in and then also go in with an army green color and what I'm doing is I'm making little triangles so this is gonna be the forest or all the trees so just making little triangles all across the horizon line and then I'm also gonna be making a little bit yellowy green and in between the triangles that we made, just putting in some more um, triangles for some more trees. And I'm painting a line of black to separate that from the water. I'm also adding in a peach colored sun. Or technically it could be a moon too. And then I'm also using that same peach, lining the top of the mountain, just adding some more contrast. And I'm also going to be using that same peach color. Um, it's actually more of a pinky peach, but I'm putting that into the water reflection. And then I'm just outlining that in a brighter peach. And adding a little bit of highlight. And now I'm just adding some more reflection and putting some more darker trees in the background. For the next one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put these birds. So I'm taking all of these colors and I'm just ombreing that into the background. And then I'm adding a white moon. And make sure that you do this multiple times because it'll give you the brightest, most opaque white. Because just one layer will make it kind of purple. And then you want to paint on a thin line for the phone or cable line. And then you want to make an oval and then a little circle and then just 
pinch it out a little bit to make a bird. And I'm gonna be doing that same thing and putting birds all along the edge of the power line. You could also, once you're done and once this dries, take a thin sharpie and maybe um, making the edges a little bit cleaner because it's super hard to do that with paint. Um, but next is the Monarch Butterfly, and I already pre-painted on this plain black silhouette of a butterfly. Um, you could always draw that on or also paint it on. So I'm taking orange, and I'm going to be putting in these little oval-shaped um, teardrops. So you want to put the paint on and drag it towards you, lifting it off of the AirPod. I'm going to be keep on doing this until I make almost like a fanned out shape. I'm taking white paint onto a very tiny brush and I'm doing the same thing, just painting on some ovals. And my pressure is super, super light, so that's going to create the smallest crisp lines that you want. You also want to work slowly, take your time, so you don't rush. Now just stipple on some white dots for the design on the butterfly. Now what I'm doing is I'm twirling the thin paintbrush into the black so it has a nice sharp point and the final thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to redefine that black space in between and make those orange bubbles a little bit more clear and separated from one another and give it a little bit cleaner of an appearance. So yeah, that's the final butterfly, super, super cute. So lastly is the Great Wave, and this is one of my favorite paintings. It's actually um, one of those Japanese famous paintings. Uh, I really like this design a lot, so that's what I decided to do on my AirPods. And what I'm doing is I'm taking that blue, that dark navy blue, and painting in the basic outline of the wave and then I'm also using a lighter blue to map out the second bottom wave. And once that dries, I'm going in with a lighter shade of blue and adding on the little foam on top. And once that dries again, I'm going in with an even lighter shade of blue. So this whole process is a lot of layering. And once it dries, that's when you get the most opaque thick lines. So I'm painting the mountain in the background, just a tiny one. And I'm also taking this very light peach and painting in the background. Now I'm taking that yellow ochre color, mixing it with a tiny, tiny bit of black and making it like an army, army yellow almost. And that's what I'm going to be using for the sailboat in between the wave. And then once that dries, I'm going to be going in with a little bit more white and really defining all the foam on top, making some of the lines and the waves uh, a little bit more clearer, and overall just cleaning everything up. So I'm kind of just improvising whatever I felt like doing, and I'm basically just taking some more dark blue and black and just accentuating some of the shadows and also some of the lines on the sailboat.
going in between the gaps and really just brightening everything up and making it super super blue I'm also adding a little bit of shadow on top and now I'm adding in some more white so this whole process is a lot of layering like I said um, the more you layer on the white the brighter it becomes so it looks so much more vivid and also I'm adding another layer of peach into the background and cleaning up those edges and when you do your second layer, you want to go in an opposite direction to what you did before to really get into all those cracks and make everything super clean. So now I'm just taking that periwinkle light blue color and drawing on some of the lines to show the curvature of the wave. And then I'm also taking in some of that navy blue and going in between where some of the white may have faded to gray and just really making that super blue. So now this is a trick that I'm gonna show you guys. So take your pinky and put it up against the edge of the AirPod so you will get a little bit more control. And when you take your black onto your paintbrush, you wanna work super slowly and make some of the splash marks uh, super thin and gentle. Um, so this kind of will give it the look of like how the ink did in the actual Great Wave painting. Um, but because we're using paint, it may get a little messy. So you want to be super careful, have a steady hand and work really carefully. So once I did that, I'm again going with the white. And as you can see, it's really starting to come to life. And I'm just stippling and just working the white into all the little details of the wave. And then I couldn't kind of forget about the background, so I'm just taking some gray and filling that behind the mountain. And then I'm also taking that peach color and ombre it into the background. And then take some yellow, and you want to make the boat a little bit more brighter, more yellow. And finally, I'm taking that white again and just splashing on and putting on that spray mark onto the wave. And yeah, that's the final look. So all you want to do now is just crisp up some of those edges, make it look super, super refined. And there you go. So I hope you like this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching.